What's up, Ann Clan, and welcome back to the channel. We're loading up. We're gonna go to the beach, get the kids some energy out. Hi. Hi. You ready? Yeah. I had to go back in and grab some bananas. These kids are always, always hungry. I'm also gonna stop at Publix because yesterday we actually went to the beach too, and I stopped at Publix and Wilder got a boogie board, and he's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I got a boogie board too. And they fought over it yesterday. Well, they didn't fight. They actually shared pretty good, but like you could tell Hazel really wanted one too. So I'm gonna stop and get her one so they can play together. Bench, are you ready? Yeah. He'll normally be like, you ready, Mom? Mommy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Me too. Me too. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's wait for Daddy. But first stop, we're gonna head to get smoothies. Hello. I do a Kiwi Quencher and three yes. Jetty Juniors. Kiwi Quencher and three Jetty Juniors? Yes. Uh, you got my name for your order? Zoe. And what are they instead of bringing up the three Jetty Juniors separately? I'm going to bring up one Jetty Quencher and it in two small cups because otherwise it would have been like $4 a piece for the Jetty Juniors. Let's take it all three. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's been a tradition the last few times we've been to the beach to come and get a smoothie afterwards. I mean before. I feel like it just fuels us up for the day. And the kids are super into smoothies right now. Like literally every single morning this is what they want. So normally we'll make them at home, but I'm making my life easier when <laughs> we're at job close to me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You Conveniently right across the street is Publix. Oh sh I'm gonna have to get my phone fixed again. <laughs> you literally just fixed it. Yes. <laughs> you dropped it right here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. I just got my phone fixed right there yesterday and I just dropped it in front of him. Are you serious? I'm not even kidding. Yesterday I spent $300 fixing my phone at that phone place the other day and the guy that fixed it was just outside cleaning his windows and I dropped my phone right in front of him. Oh, I don't even know if I finished what I was going to say. I was going to say, conveniently Publix is right here where I'm going to get Hazel's boogie board. She says she wants some mermaid one, so let's see what they got. They do have a mermaid one. Cute. I'm going to grab some apples. They probably won't get me free. And a water. Yeah, I'll get a vitamin water. I haven't had one of those in a minute. And a Gatorade. I've heard of these Celsius drinks, and I kind of want to try one. Let's do peach. Okay. I was like waiting on my computer. To the beach we go. I don't know why, the beach just gives me such like, I've said this before, but just happy endorphins. And I'm not even there yet, but the ocean just makes me happy. And the kids too, they just play so hard and then they sleep. It's great. Yeah. All right, now you both got your boogie boards. Here you go. Mommy, you guys ready? Just as planned because the kids are just so worn out, so they're probably gonna take a rest. 
I completely forgot that they have gymnastics tonight. I thought I was going to come home and be able to get a bunch of work done, but I'm such a bad mom. I always forget about gymnastics. It's on my calendar. It's written down. I don't know why, but for some reason, gymnastics always slips my mind. And it can't because it's like their favorite thing ever. So I'm going to hurry up and try to get it some work done and then bounce back from my tiredness and take them to gymnastics. Oh, I had I thought I had so much time. There's not enough hours in the day, y'all. That's why I've been trying to wake up early so it feels like there's more time. It's really hard to wake up early if you're not a morning person. I'm trying though. Let me shut my mouth and get this done. quickly hurry up, get to the post office so I can get back here and take them. And I also need to change and shower. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do both, so we'll take what we can get. Okay. Got her done right in time because they were literally about to close. Okay, we made it back home with literally two minutes to spare for me to get dressed and fix this. I'm looking very like stretchable right now. I for real just do not have time to get properly dressed. Oh my god, let me just throw on this hoodie. Stretchable looks gonna have to do for now. All right, this is gonna get. Go do gymnastics. Gymnastics. You ready? Yeah. Do you get me a lollipop rattle? A lollipop at the end? Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, so sweet, buddy. Your time will come soon, I promise. This way. You're on the waiting list. They said it shouldn't be too long. Is Garrick's in there doing ventures class with him? He's doing really well. For it being his first class, what do you think, Ben? And you're being really patient. I'm so proud of you. Ooh. Oh, okay. He goes for deep. I love him. Oh, I love him too. He's so cute. I'm very impressed. You're impressed? Me too. Back home, I feel really bad because Wilder, like, he wants to go so bad, but I'm proud of him. He was being so sweet and so patient. We just got home and the chickens are just literally all over the yard. What are they doing? They was in a different spot. Look how big they are now. And look, they're like, probably like 100 pounds. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby, that's... Ah! <laughs> oh my God. We ended up ordering pizza tonight for dinner because I really did not want to cook and clean because we already have so much cleaning to do. I gotta get caffeinated for the bedtime routine. Is he getting you? Hop, hop, hop. Fun fact, I've had this like laser hair removal kit for literally like six months and I've been wanting to use it so bad obviously, but I'm terrified to do it. So I really want to have like Garrett try it out before I do it. You know, it even comes with glasses. Yeah, this terrifies me. Okay, anyway, that's charging. I'm gonna make Eric do that with me. I don't know why. That kind of technology just scares me. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Y'all, I wasn't even gonna mention this, but I feel like it's really not a TMI because I'm sure so many women go through this. But literally, I I probably wouldn't have noticed this if I wasn't like doing my new adventures that I'm doing. But I noticed something on my breast. I told you guys before I was like leaking. I thought it could have been like from my miscarriage or I don't know, just from like being postpartum and like having kids in general. But it didn't show up until like after the miscarriage. Anyways, so I thought that could be it. But I think some of the milk or like honestly what it looked like to me was like colostrum. Um, so whatever you want to call it. But I think what happened is some of that milk or colostrum got trapped in like one of my like nipple glands. I really don't know how to describe it, but there's like a ball-like thing that has appeared, like a lump 
thing. I don't love that for me, but I think that's what's happening. I Maybe I should do some Google research, but then I'll feel like I'm just dying and I'd really rather not do that. Has this ever happened to any of you? That was just like my theory that like, you know, colostrum got trapped in and that's why there's a lump there all of a sudden. Because it's like, it's not just like a regular like lump or like you, like it's not like a pimple or anything like that. I've never had a pimple on my nipple, but oh, that rhymed really good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that. It's just like something is like in it, but it's like near where milk would come out, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel the best either. I know we all are going to say I need to go to the doctor. That needs to go. Whatever is going on needs to go. I need to stop. I shouldn't have used said anything. I should have just kept it up in my noggin. Because now I'm going to like overthink about it. Okay, I'm going to go get Derek. I need you to be a guinea pig. No. Yes. Because I already, I already know what this is kind no, of or don't. something, but it looks scary. <laughs> That's why I need you to do it first. What am I doing? Honestly, this could benefit you if it works. What is it? It's laser hair removal. Nope. <laughs> nowhere that, test the little nowhere spot. that there's any tattoos. Okay, I think we should do your eyebrow test. What? No, you're crazy. Do my freaking beard or my mustache. Why? Because you don't want it ever again? <laughs> I can't help it. My fa my facial I'm hair goes I'm saying because laser hair removal removes hair. Forever? It does? Over time, yeah, I think. Mean. You can do my chest hair. Should we read the directions? Yeah, definitely. I don't think it came with directions. Do, 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 I don't know, I'm scared. Do <laughs> my leg hair, do my leg hair. Okay, put your leg up. I'm scared, like what if it Oh wait, you're hurts? supposed to shave the part first. What? My legs are already like burning. What's happening to me? Give me it. Okay, I'm scared. I'm gonna hurt you. Okay, just do it. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Move your arm so you don't accidentally whack me or something. Ah, I don't like it. Stop it. Come on, <laughs> this is stupid. What if you tase me or it just like skirts? I don't wanna do this. Okay. I don't wanna do this. Do my arms. Why? <laughs> Cause I don't want you to do my chest. I just don't like that. It's where my heart is. No, no. Oh my god, I don't like this shit. I don't. Stop. Does it do something? I don't know. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, I don't like it. Hurt? It feels like radiation. No, you're stuff. lying. It, I, it did not feel like anything. Don't lie. It feels like radiation. Let me try one more time to make sure. No, do it to yourself. That thing doesn't work. It's just a flash of light. <laughs> no, you didn't let and me it, You squealed so cool. like a little baby. Oh, well, yeah. What if I just woke you up in the middle of the night? Or you woke up in the middle of the night and I was just like lasering your all your hair off. I would that. scream. I would, that'd be probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. Alright guys, if you like my screaming like a little girl, please give this a big thumbs up. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos because we're going to bed. Good night. See you in the next one. But honestly, if any of you have ever used that, let me know because now I feel like I'm terrified and I won't use it again unless somebody else says that it's fine. No, really. Bye.